Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin for those of you that are new here and if you're not, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm really excited to be sharing with you a gentle yoga practice. As I had gone back and looked over the different yoga classes that I had shared thus far, I know we've had some active and some passive, but I wanted to find something a little more in the middle. And I led a gentle yoga class with guided meditation over the weekend, which inspired me to then share it with you. So if you'd like to practice with me, then just keep watching. The two things that I will ask that you have today is a yoga mat and a blanket. If you don't have either of those things, know that you will still be plenty successful in the practice. I will begin today's class reclined on the back in a supine pentacle or a big star shape flat on your back body. I'm using a blanket folded underneath neck and head. And you outstretch your legs in a low V shape from your hips to your heels. Lengthen your arms up and out. And feel that your chin is below your forehead, your neck is nice and long. Feel softness move through your fingers, your feet, and your face. Allowing your eyes to close. And you'll begin to narrow your focus on the fact that you're breathing. When you inhale, feel your abdomen expand. And when you exhale, feel your abdomen soften. Inhale, abdomen expand. Exhale, abdomen soften. And the intention that I'd like to share with you for our practice is exploring the line between enjoyment and appreciation. So often we think that discomfort is the enemy. The moment that we get even the slightest bit uncomfortable, we resist and retreat. And our yoga practice counters that thought. We choose to breathe and be with the discomfort. We practice staying calm. And sometimes you may find that enjoying the discomfort, that's a stretch, right? But can you appreciate those areas that are getting stretched, touched, stronger? And my hope for you is that you can enjoy where you are and who you are. My hope for you is that you can appreciate where you are and who you are. Together we breathe in. And together we breathe out. Let's press low back into the floor, bend your knees and hug them into your heart. And with our gentle yoga practice, less is more you are erring on the side of caution, of kindness, and taking care of yourself. Keep your right knee up into your chest. Stamp the sole of your left foot on your mat. This is Ardha Apanasana, half wind relieving pose. And when you breathe in, feel your belly forward and outward. And when you breathe out, can you squeeze your right leg in closer to your chest? Let's do two more like that. Inhale, belly expands. And exhale, squeeze your right thigh in. One last time. Inhale, belly out, thigh presses away. And exhale, squeeze your right leg into the torso. Wonderful. Interlace 10 fingers on your right hamstring. 
rather hamstrings. Flex your right foot, inhale, extend your right leg up towards the sky. Any amount, let it feel good. With your exhale, re-bend. And again, we'll do that a couple more times. Inhale, lengthen. Kick out through your right heel. Exhale, shorten. One more time, breathing in, enjoy. Appreciate the back line of your right leg. And exhale, shorten. Extend your left leg long out in front of you. Take left hand to the outside of your right knee. Reach your right arm, like a half capital T to the right. For a spinal twist, guide your right leg over to the left, and the moment it stops moving, stack your hips. Scoot your left hip underneath your right, keeping your right shoulder nice and heavy. If it's safe, if it's appropriate on your neck, lift your head and send your gaze over to your open right hand. Soften through your left toes, left leg and your left glute. Take three rounds of conscious breathings. Stay as you are for one more in-breath. Out-breath, squeeze your belly and roll back to center. Once you level your hips and your low back, take your right hand to your right shin, left hand on your left hip, and open up your right leg, any amount. Make sure that your left hip stays level. Choosing to stay right here, shorter lever, a bent right knee, or take your right peace fingers and thumbs, wrap them around your right big toe, supta parangustasana, and extend your right leg over to the right. Working deeply into your right hip, inner thigh, into the groin. Relax your shoulders, stay lifted on your heart. Flex your left foot and press the back of your left knee down into your mat. We'll take a few rounds of breath. Discomfort, possibly, but nothing is painful. I'd appreciate the length and enjoy the time that we have here as it's only three more rounds of breath. Two more. Last one. Take your time, inhale, right leg up to center. And exhale, release to constructive rest. Flat feet, bent knees. Angle your toes in and rest your inner knees against one another. Let's bring hands to the abdomen, your index fingers and thumbs, they're framing your navel. Allow the musculature along the back line of your body to settle and your belly to breathe sweetly. Allow your arms to go long at your sides. Toe heel your feet back to hips width distance. Ten toes forward, your knees are above your heels. Inhale, bridge pose. Lift your hips, your ribs, your heart, and your arms. Exhale, lower down. Your hips and your hands touch earth at the same time. Inhale, lifting up. Let's take four, three, two, one. Exhale, lower down. One, two, three, four. One more like that. Inhale, lift up and take your time moving through space. Exhale, lower down. Meeting in reclined bound angle, soles of feet together, knees open wide. Goal post your arms, bend your elbows and bring the backs of your hands to rest. Gently opening up the chest. Option to shimmy the shoulder blades in closer to your spine, propping up your heart 
elevating your lungs using your bones. If that suggestion does not feel good in your body, please get rid of it and just relax your shoulders. Take a couple rounds of breath. Right, and maybe this stretch, it feels amazing for you and you find enjoyment. Maybe this stretch, it's a little more of a struggle, but you can appreciate the areas that are being touched, the hips that are being open, the bend in your back and the breath in your belly. And take your hands to your outer and upper thighs. Support the closure of your hips. Keep your right foot flat to your mat and hug your left knee into your chest. Ardha Apanasana, half wind relieving pose. With the inhale, feel your belly press into your left leg. And when you exhale, squeeze without strain, left thigh into your side body. Let's do that two more times. Inhale to expand a little, press away. Exhale, squeeze. One more time, breathing in. Focus on your left hip crease as you exhale, deep in the crease. Nice job. Interlace 10 fingers on left hamstrings. Flex your left foot as you breathe in, straighten your left leg. And let it feel good. With your exhale, rebend, practicing patience. Two more times. Inhale for length. Exhale, depth. One more time. Inhale, nice and long. Exhale, you shorten and soften. And extend your right leg long. Take your right hand to the outside of your left knee. Open up your left arm like that half airplane wing. Supine twist, guide your left leg to the right. And recall when your left leg stops moving, stack your hips, open your heart. If it's safe on the neck, send your gaze over to the left. And it's worth scanning from your right glute down to your right toes. Just release the blind tension that you may be holding. And while we're here, I invite you to focus on your rib cage. With the inhale, get a little bit wider, more expansive. And on your exhale, melting your ribs in towards your center line. Two more times, just like that, breathing in. And breathing out. One more time, big breath in. And a complete breath out. And slow return back to center. Level your hips and your low back. Keep your left knee bent, right hand on your right hip, and then begin to open up your left knee to the left side of your space. Choosing to stay right here or wrapping left peace fingers and thumbs around your left big toe. Details, but important. Supta Padangustasana, extend your left leg over to the left. Keeping your right hip heavy and your shoulders soft. Whether it's enjoyment or appreciation, take three rounds of conscious breathing. And as they're not incredibly long holds, just enjoying, appreciating what you are feeling and where exactly you're feeling it. And just like that, final three rounds of breath. Inhale, lift your left leg back up to center. 
And exhale, release your bind. Take a full body stretch, elongate through arms and legs. Stretch fingers and reach through toes. Take your ankles and your wrists in a couple of rotations. Working into your smaller joints. Switch the direction of your rotations if you haven't already. And if you're anything like me, you'll work out the snap, crackles, and pops. Press your low back into your mat. Again, knees into your heart, little squeeze. And then two options, either rock and roll the length of your spine, little massage if that feels good. If that doesn't feel good, easy solution, take fetal pose. A little bit softer, take a round of breath to settle, and then transition upright. Let's link up in Sukhasana. In English, your easy seated pose. If you have that blanket, take a seat on it. If you don't, no worries, take a seat on the ground. If Sukhasana is compromising to your body, no stress, no worries, extend your legs long, or you can take this seated on a chair. Inhale, lift your arms up. Look up if that feels good. Exhale to release your left hand and bow out your right side body. Inhale, both arms up. We'll take this dynamically, breath to movement. Exhale, release your right hand and bow out your left side body. And then only as slow or as fast as you're breathing, inhale, find your upswing. Exhale to release. Anchoring back into our collective intention for the practice. What is it like to be here? What is it like to breathe here? Where do you find it to be enjoyable and where can you appreciate the areas that are being touched? Allowing the prana, the energy to move. And from your next inhale, get nice and long. Look up, reach up. Flip your hands and exhale, release fingertips to the floor. Easy change, switching out the cross of your legs. Now we've allowed our spine to move in six directions. We've had forward folds, back bending, twisting to the right and to the left, and then side body stretching to the right and to the left. You want your spine to move in six directions every single day to keep it mobile and healthy. This will bring us into our guided meditation portion. If you would prefer switching out the legs or reclining, I fully respect that and empower you to take care of yourself. Bring the backs of your hands to take rest. We'll layer on what's called Yanana Mudra. Draw index fingers and thumbs to touch. Soft extension through middle, ring, and pinky fingers. Let your shoulders fall back and your heart shine bright. Chin is parallel to the floor, and again, your eyes close. And we'll dedicate the next few moments to a metta meditation, loving kindness. And as I offer these phrases, you feel into the vibration they hold and how they make you feel. What exactly they bring to your mind and if they can soften the edges of your heart. To begin, let's take a breath in, feel long and lifted. Let's let a breath out. May all beings be happy. Imagine a world where all beings we're happy. May all beings be healthy. Imagine a life where all beings were healthy. May all beings find their freedom. Imagine all beings 
have found their freedom. May all beings be safe. Imagine a life where safety was not compromised or questioned. May all beings be safe. May all beings know peace. Imagine a life abundant and full of peace for all beings. May all beings walk through this life with ease. Let's take a breath in, sitting tall, feeling proud. And let a breath out, sharing this gift of loving kindness. Enjoy this work, this dedication to loving kindness, and appreciate the fruits of your labor, sending metta, loving kindness, outward to all beings. Moving slow, collect your hands at your heart. Take a deep bow of your chin to your chest. And my hope for you is that your practice is continuous. You take this work off the mat. Your heart is steady. And that you can appreciate where you are and who you are. That you can enjoy where you are and who you are. Take a big breath in, lengthen and lift your heart and let all your breath out. With so much love and gratitude to each and every one of you, we close the practice with collective bow. Namaste. Thank you so much, everyone. It was truly my pleasure to guide you through this gentle yoga practice and metta meditation. I do hope that you enjoyed. If your time allows, feel free after the video ends to take your time in Shavasana, five, 10 minutes in rest, in complete stillness to integrate your practice and fully feel into its effects. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.